Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. So today's video is, can you not with this hair? Today is a video that I have been, what? Please don't smoke. <laughs> I've died to do this video for you guys. I have been seeing a trend of videos on YouTube and they call them maintenance week videos, right? All of the things that YouTubers pay for to stay pretty and not even just YouTubers, just regular women that happen to just vlog the experience and post about it. Now I thought this video was fun for different reasons. The first reason is I'm nosy as hell. I mean, that's the beauty of YouTube. I can see the tea on like what the girls are doing. I get real life action reviews right then and there. I don't have to go experiment for myself. If it looks terrible, then I get to see it on better you than me, girl. You guys know, I'm I'm a woman of a particular type of uh, vibe. You know, I am a little bit of a high maintenance here or there, but it's not high maintenance if you're the one doing the maintaining, so don't try me in the comments. I feel like I do more than the average person, but I do less than the average YouTuber. So I wanted to bring you guys in on some of the things that I do to maintain my beauty, beauty services, things that I indulge in every so often. This is a video I filmed over the course of about a week, and I took you on different journeys with me, different services that I've got done, all that good good. The one thing that I will say, I'm definitely not perpetuating that these are things you have to do to maintain beauty, but I will definitely say you guys watch me several times throughout the week. I am a part of your homes for the most part. Most of you guys are like family. And when you're watching someone in 4K, things tend to show up a little differently. So there are things that I do because I am a person of influence and because I'm a YouTuber that I probably wouldn't do if I had just like a corporate regular day-to-day -day job. This is in no way implying that the average person has to do it this is kind of more like a video that's just like interested in these things so the first thing I want to do is take you guys with me to my esthetician where I get my facials guidance to glow in Glendale California Fenya I love her I've been trusting this lady with my skin for the past year girl you know black people don't trust anybody I don't trust nobody with two things my skin and my hair the makeup I can wash off the hair is a little bit more permanent the skin you gonna have to give me your social security number and tell me where your kids go to school and your address because I'm pulling up we fighting. I just have SPF. I didn't even wash my face this morning because whenever I go get a facial, like what's the point of doing my normal skincare routine if I'm just gonna go do that all over again, but like the upgraded version. So I didn't wash my face, I didn't do anything. I just slathered on some SPF so that at least my skin is protected from the sun. And I have my little tote bag so I can carry my camera, my water. Let's go ahead and get this facial popping. Bye darling. Bye. See you later. So because it has been a minute since I've gotten a facial, I'm hoping to get something pretty extensive today. For me, that's like microdermabrasion, which is like bumped up exfoliating. She'll probably do some hydrofacials to put that moisture back in my skin. Sometimes she'll even do microdermabrasion with a peel on top. So I don't know, I'll just like let Finia do her thing. I trust her enough where like, I don't even go in and tell her what to do anymore. I just kind of let her assess. And like, sometimes I'll ask like, hey, can we do this? And if she totally recommends it, then we'll do it. But I am that confident in her and in my skin that I can just pretty much let her do what she feels is right. And when she tells me, stop using product, I stop using it. When she tell me to shut up, I'll be talking. <laughs> Just got to Fenya. She's probably finishing. Oh, she's not finishing. <laughs> oh, I miss you. I miss you so much. I miss you more. Come on in. Okay. We're vlogging today. Is that okay? Oh, of course. Yay. Yay. I love how I opened the door right when you're coming. I know. So Fenya's ready to work her magic. You get so camera shy whenever I'm filming. <laughs> she literally stops in her tracks like, <gasps> I'm a guest in your home. You do your thing. We're gonna you come move in? around okay. freely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a safe zone. Yes. Actually, before we start, do you mind if I take a look? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh yeah, it looks really good, girl. You look so good. I look good. You look good, girl. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to say bomb. No, I'm you look bomb. Look good. You look bomb. No, you look bomb. No, you're doing so good. I'm watching oh, good. all your videos. I'm monitoring you. Yay. <laughs> she's she's ready to drag me. <laughs> She's like, mm-hmm, girl, what you over there doing? <laughs> no, it looks so pretty. It looks great. The Fabulous. only thing is, this one really hurt, and I had to pop it. Squeeze it, okay. Yeah, it really hurt, and I finally got what was hurting out. Okay. But I know it's gonna scar. Okay. And there's probably, it's. I think it's scabby right now. A little bit, it looks pretty red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, no worries. We won't mess with this one too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> this one was really like that ugly. one. This one, that one. That one is really ugly. <laughs> okay, so um, it's still fresh, so we'll we'll kind of. This one is too. A little bit, yeah, because oh. when it's a little pink, it's still trying oh, to heal. Like when okay. it turns into like a dark mark like this, I know it's ready she's to like. She's, she's dead. dead. Yeah, dead. she's gone. Yeah. Okay. But when it's pink, I need to like okay. take it easy. Yeah. yeah, it is. It has been a little red lately. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I come to Finia, I stop retinols. I don't do anything heavy exfoliating like a couple days before. It's ideally a week before so that like I can do all that crazy, crazy stuff when I'm with her and my skin's not super sensitive. Oh yeah. But I haven't been, I, the last time I did something was the day you text me. Okay. Which, which was I think Tuesday? Tu yeah. Monday? Yeah. Monday, Tuesday. It might have been, no, because it was after the holiday, so Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. And, yes. and it wasn't that intense, the lip peel, right? It was just the, yeah, it was just it's the lip peel enzyme, on yeah. my face. Okay. So Finny has this lip peel and I use it all over my face as like an actual peel and that was like the last invasive thing I've done. So what did you have in mind, Finya? I don't know, I'm gonna wing it today. <laughs> okay. I wanna see, I'm gonna start with the steam. Let's see how your skin responds to me, like, you know, with the little friction mm -hmm. and massaging the skin. Let's see how your skin responds. If it's okay. turning red, we have to take it easy. Okay. If you're doing well, then you know what? We'll we'll do maybe a lactic peel. I'll do maybe a hydrofacial. I'll do I'm maybe... Oh, okay, well, let's do microdermabrasion instead. <laughs> what is now? <laughs> Just do whatever we want I to. I love microdermabrasion. <laughs> oh, it's like the f my favorite, like, I get just enough results without, like, really going too deep. It's like the perfect happy medium. You know what I mean? I agree. I love it. And yeah. to be honest with you, I don't think we need to go crazy on you because you're doing so well. Thank you. But I feel like since I don't see you too often, I, I kind of want to just get in there. Do you think we should do something more? Well, you know what I can do is I can do a microderm and then I can do a peel over it. Okay. I can do... Um, do you have lashes? Are these your lashes? Yeah, I don't have anything on. Okay, cool. Maybe we can do the algae mask over it. I mean, I can. we can get creative. I just, we have to be careful not to over exfoliate you. True. Yeah, but we'll do the microderm for sure. Are you okay with possibly doing a light peel over it? Yes, okay, sounds good. You know I love peel. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I just want to make sure. Do you have any plans tomorrow? Because you're going to mm -hmm. look bomb tomorrow. I do have plans, but I have to wear makeup today, though. That's okay. Like, right when I go home, I'll probably, I have to put makeup on. Okay, okay. I'm auditioning for something. <gasps> I can't say what, I can't tell the vlog what, though. Okay. <gasps> because if I Tell flop, then that'd be really embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, I'll turn it off and then I'll tell you. This smells so good. Is this lavender? It has actually different essential oils in there. I just cocktail a lot. It makes a bunch of mm. stuff in there. <laughs> and it becomes this. You just cleansed my face, right? I did, yes. We cleansed them. We're just getting rid of the cleanser. Make sure. No residue. Oh, that feels so good. Wow, you haven't done anything yet. And I feel like I look better already. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is a hot towel. Right? It just, <laughs> just a hot towel Makes too. you look like you did something. <laughs> what exactly is happening when you're doing microdermabrasion, by the way? So microdermabrasion, I'll show you. It's harder to see. I don't know if you can see through the Look camera. how ashy I look. <laughs> That's all the dead skin. Yes, all the dead skin. So the tip has diamonds encrusted. The yes. center has suction. Uh -huh. um, what the diamonds do is buff away the dead skin. The suction sucks in the dead skin. Yeah. At the same time, you see how you're a little bit pink? Yeah. So it helps to bring blood flow to the face. Uh, you know, blood circulation, mm -hmm. oxygen, so all that wonderful stuff. So it helps to stimulate a little bit too. Do you like this more than dermal planing? Everyone's talking about dermal planing. What's I your thoughts? I don't care about dermal planing. It's shaving your face. This, I feel like it would do so much better. Same. So much better. I mean, I feel like if you want to shave your face, just shave your face. Yeah. But it's not the same. No. Like, I'm not exfoliating yeah. through dermal planing. No. I'm, not, I'm just going to go to that to shave my yeah. face, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're just, yeah, I'd rather do this. It's but do so you dermal, do you do it though? Mm -hmm. You don't offer it? No. That makes I sense. Don't. I, if I don't believe it, I don't offer it. I just so don't it, waste. But are you okay with me shaving my face at home? As occasionally? Long as, as long as you don't get bumps, like razor bumps. No, no, no. I don't you're ever. Good. Perfect. I don't, I've never broken Perfect. out. Perfect. I may have nicked myself from rushing. <laughs> I'm not proud of that. But I've never broken out from it. Okay, then you're good. Yeah, yeah as long as you're, yeah, solid. Finia approved. Yay! We just got done with instructions. They're so painful. Did we already do my nose? Yes. Was it gross? I know it was gross. It wasn't that bad. How do you feel about pore surfs, by the way? I see a lot of people, you know, doing videos on them. Like, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts? I know. It, are they dangerous? To be honest with you, sometimes you can get these broken veins on the side because you're tearing the skin. You're Ooh. literally pulling the skin off. It could help a little bit here and there, but chances are most of the time it rips the skin as well. What if you just do it on the bulb of the nose? I mean, you can, but again, you're ripping this. It's almost like waxing, right? Like you're uh -huh. ripping the skin off. So, because oh. um, it has to harden and then you pull it off. Chances are it's going to get some of it, but not all of it. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? This is a toner. toner. Mm -hmm. After extractions, we want to make sure we 
clean everything out. I keep hearing like mixed reviews about like, do pores open and close? Is, okay. The give us the tea. Girl. Give us the real tea. Okay, so pores are not like muscle. They don't contract, right? Mm -hmm. If I can close your pores, I would close them. Just like, I mean, everybody wants their pores to be small and tight. Right. We can minimize the appearance, but we cannot shut them and we cannot close them. Okay. Because pores, what they do in the summertime, if you notice, it looks a little bit larger than winter. Mm -hmm. It helps to cool your skin down. Oh. So sweating creates coolness to the skin. So when they look larger, what's happening? It's because you're, you're really hot. Your skin's trying to cool you down by by sweating. But what's happening to the pores? Like if they appear bigger? It's because they're activated. They're more activated. So oh, they're, they're I see. shooting out more oils for you to cool you Got down and sweat. It. Yeah. Got it. Which is why it looks a little bit larger. And then winter Got time, it. they kind of tighten up a little bit. Oh, okay. Because you're, you know, more cold season. So they do tighten technically. I mean, tighten as in they, they get smaller. Okay. They just get a little bit smaller, but we can't close them completely. That Got it. Sense. Okay, so pore tightening is a thing, technically. It's possible, but okay. we can't close them shut. Oh, got it, okay. Yeah. Got it. So when you're steaming my face, what is the benefit of that? So a lot of people think, oh, let me steam the face to open up the pores. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. It actually just softens the skin. So when I'm cleansing mm -hmm. or exfoliating, the dead skin comes off easier because it softens the skin. Okay. So things roll off easier. And what's the whole thing with cold water? We know the cold, pores aren't yeah. closing, but what is it actually um, doing? I just rinse my face with cool water. I don't okay. know why. It, 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 sometimes the things are just a trend. It's just mm -hmm. so many people talk about it and then it just becomes a thing. I just use lukewarm water and I, you know. Yeah. So I don't know. Basically what I was getting at is Finya did say that weather, you know, obviously affects your pores tightening or appearing more larger. And what I was wondering is when you do the cold water thing, does it have a similar effect as cold weather would you basically said like it kind of does but it's just temporary like it's if, a you're, temporary if you're if you're washing your face or rinsing your face with cold water but then you're going outside and it's hot going back to you're yeah. just gonna go back to the same thing yeah so okay yeah. got it you answered yeah. my question okay perfect so technically the cold water thing does work but like it's for free a few minutes for like five minutes yeah ten minutes yeah and now yeah. we know why in the summer the pores be cutting up it's because it's hot that's like a protection thing right to, yeah it tries to, to cool you down so yeah it just sweats a little bit more which is more active which is why the pores look a little more more larger oh well you know i actually don't sweat on my face so maybe that's why a lot of people say to me you never have pores Maybe because I mean, that's actually one of the few places that I'm the least active as far as sweat. Yep, and it doesn't have to be sweat, it could be oil too. Okay, then yeah. there's yeah, there's definitely oil as well. Because you notice you get a little bit more oily around here. Around here. Mm -hmm. I do definitely because that's get oil where you here. have your pores. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately that's where it's more active, which looks more larger in the summer. You already did the peel? Uh, yeah, I did Damn. two layers of the peel. I'm gonna numb you here. Okay. <laughs> okay, now you need to tell me what the hell is in your hands okay, and so, <laughs> what is this? So this is called the Omni. It has a red light and a blue light. So uh -huh. the red light helps with collagen, elastin, heal the skin, and then you have the blue light. So it helps with oh, bacteria. Oh, I know about that. Yeah, yes. it helps with bacteria, acne breakouts. But the best part of it is what I like to do, even if you have like a sheet mask, if you mm -hmm. put a sheet mask on, you can use this to like massage it into the skin. What? So it allows the product to penetrate into your skin. So right now you have more of a hydrating mask. Uh-huh. And I just massage this into the skin and it I don't know if you feel like a little warmth or heat. I do it. feel it's warm. Yeah, so what it does is it helps to melt the product so you can the skin could absorb it better. Whoa. So it goes deeper into the skin and you can use this for like three minutes, maybe a couple of times a week and um, helps with, yeah, tightening, firming, elastin, you know, collagen. So do you stuff. rotate the lights like you do blue first? Yeah, okay. so what I'll do like a minute, I'll do the red light. This has no light, so you just do red light. Mm -hmm. So I'll do it for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, like a minute and a half, maybe the full face. And mm -hmm. then if you have breakouts, I'll go in again and I'll do the blue light. Do you like this better than like jade rolling? Well, I mean, I don't mind the jade roller, but I just feel like you have to really work yeah. it versus this does the job for you. It just is vibrating. It's allowing the product to go into your skin and all you do is just glide the stuff. So she <laughs> sent me this, but I had no idea what to do with this. And now I actually, I was like, Finia, girl, <laughs> what do I do with this? I could be <laughs> Okay, this is the algae mask. Goodbye. Should we close your lips or, or? Close them up, honey. I talk too much anyway. <laughs> Goodbye, Ralph. Can you hold your breath five minutes? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're bubbling up here. <laughs> Whoa. 
How long was it on for? Like 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, about was 10 minutes. Not that yeah. long. So that's the big reveal. I feel like back to myself and now I will have beautiful skin to maintain throughout the week now that Finya put me back in check. Thanks, Finya. You're welcome. Now she's, welcome. she's packing my to-go bag. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Thank you. You oh, did wonderful. I love you. You're my so Insta welcome. stories loves you, Finya. My vlog loves you. This is your first time. This is gonna be your first time on my main YouTube channel. So it's gonna. I know, I'm she's nervous. Scared. She's nervous. She's shook. I, I know. And by the way, where can everybody find you? Because they will ask. Because I literally talk about. This is the number one product that I constantly talk about. Every time I mention hyaluronic acid, I'm not talking about the regular. I'm talking about. Benya's <laughs> liquid gold. It's this one, okay? None other compares. Just <gasps> saying. So but where can everybody find you? Glendale. Uh, it's 540 West Colorado. Oh, she meant literally pull up, find you. I meant like Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's who you can pull up. You can pull up and come <laughs> literally find her too. Instagram is Guidance to Glow. And your website, because that's where I get all the products. Oh, that's right. Guidance to Glow.com. And there you have it. You did good. Thank you for taking me in. This is so I feel great. I feel good. back to normal. Shout out to you, Finya, because you put you. in the time yeah. and the work I to make sure I that people like me can trust you and I feel beautiful. Thank you. You are beautiful. Always. I love you, my boo. Me too. Me. When you do get an appointment, I promise you, I promise you, I promise Aww. you, it is so worth it. I'll see you guys next time. So Fenya is so busy. I do try to see her at least once a month, but she'll be like six months booked out that busy. So I usually just go to her when she cancels. Seeing Fenya is just really good for all of the stuff that my at-home products can't do. And I got some good at-home stuff. Like my at-home stuff is, is not nothing to be played with or questioned, sweetie. But you can only do so much at home, you know? I'm also a big believer in facials and visiting spas regularly just for the self-care aspect of it because I get an hour, sometimes even two hours to just unwind, unpack, let go, not think, be off my phone even though I'm not that great at that. One good tip for those of you guys that maybe are wanting to explore facials but are on a budget, you can go to any esthetician school, preferably one with better reviews. You can inquire about their services and you're gonna meet students that are training to be an esthetician, are not licensed to be estheticians just yet. But honestly, sometimes the services there are kind of better because they're they're so heavily regulated and they're supervised. They're not gonna risk doing anything extreme, experimenting, doing anything crazy on you. Whereas estheticians who have been in the game, this is not tea, this is just the truth. Sometimes people get so comfortable in a service that they just get lazy, they get complacent. They don't educate themselves on what's new technology, on new products, they just don't do that. That's a great tip for anybody that wants to explore a facialist in their area and doesn't really know how to start or is a little bit more on a budget, they'll service are heavily discounted at schools. You guys should definitely check that out. A visit to Finia's office, I would have to guesstimate on average for what I do. <laughs> Cause I like to stock up. Cause sometimes I don't be getting in her chair for like another two, three months. I would have to estimate, including products, probably run about $500 to $600. I know that sounds scary. I wanna say the facial itself costs like $200. She never charges me for these facials and I'm not sure why. And I always insist, like the first six months, I insisted, I'm like, can you please let me tip you something? She refuses and it's really sweet of her. Finya, I appreciate you so much. Like even if you were charging me, I would still go cause you're that good. And I do work hard to like pay people for what they're worth, okay? I never ask. I never ask for discounts. I never ask for freebies, ever. Next, I'm gonna take you guys with me to Laser Away where I get my laser hair removal needs. Y'all got something for sale you like though? I'm looking for that. Greetings, Earthlings. So do you use the same laser for all complexions? Is it just a matter of setting it differently? We don't use it for all complexions. Okay. Um, we're more um, conservative for darker skin tones. Okay. Because we don't want to burn you. Yeah. So there's a whole protocol on what skin type you are, just to keep your skin safe. Next is Brazilian now. I can do this. Uh, do this. I'm ready. Tingly, but not unbearable yet. Not yet. I'm oh, okay, I'm holding her open so she can get all in there. Well, that was amazing. That was like 10 times easier today than it was when I did this six to eight weeks ago. I think it has to do with the fact that like it was the first time I did the hair removal in like years and like some of that hair had like thickened up. Even though after about three years, my hair still doesn't grow back as much as it used to. So now that I'm, I'm hoping that I've kicked it back up and I'm consistent again with laser that it'll just like, 
Okay, girl, we hear you, Amy. Oh my God, that was such a breeze. And that lady was so fast. I'm just glad that I got back into the hang of this because that first, first, first appointment, I was, I, I was kind of going through it a little bit. Only in certain spots though, like the bikini was woof. I cannot say enough great things about laser hair removal. I would never go back to waxing. I've done a whole detailed video on laser hair removal, do's and don'ts, frequently asked questions. The most questions I get asked are like, does it work for dark skin? Absolutely, I'm dark, so I'm obviously a great case study. I haven't, however, tried it on my face. I know that the skin on the face is a lot more sensitive. I haven't been bold enough to test that yet. I'm still a little apprehensive about that, but if anybody that, get out of here! But if any of y'all out there are my complexion or darker and you have experience with that, please let me know. Usually people will ask me about the price. I was working with Laser Away. I no longer work with them anymore for no particular reason. I just, you know, that contract ended. I'd rather just like go pay for the service because then there's like no pressure to post or anything like that. And I genuinely like the service. Like the stuff that I continuously go back to is the stuff that I would pay for anyway. I paid for a package and that package from what I remember was three sessions and it includes full arm, underarm, bikini area, and girl, when it's bikini, it's not just your front girl, it's your back girl. So what you're gonna do is get on your fours and spread them top to back, okay? So wipe properly. And I also do full leg, cause they split them up. Like some people don't care about their leg hair on their thighs. Some people don't even grow that much hair on their, th on their thighs. I'm just a hairy so-and-so, so I get everything. Take it all, take it all, leave it at the clinic. I don't want it anymore. So I get everything done. I remember this being being about $1,200. But you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fact check everything and whatever I'm wrong about, I'll just put it on the screen. Like it's too easy, don't even worry, I got you sis. But laser is very expensive. But when you think about the things that you do every single month, it's kind of a no brainer because laser hair removal, even though technically it's not forever, forever, forever permanent, it is permanent enough where like I could go months without shaving or waxing and still look relatively kind of like hairless for the most part, which is kind of nice. None of the other services that I've tried, like waxing just doesn't slow down hair for me at all. Obviously we know the tea on shaving, it's about as useless as everything else is. And sugaring is just slightly less painful than waxing. That's about it. I would definitely say that laser is about the same pain level as waxing. If you can tolerate waxing, you can definitely tolerate laser. As far as the time goes, it is a little bit of a slower process, but I do feel that it's more beneficial for me simply because like nothing I've tried before has ever significantly diminished the appearance of hair on my body. And for someone who constantly travels a lot and who already has enough self-care things to maintain, I just don't wanna add another 20 minutes to my shower routine by shaving, doing all this other stuff. I'd rather just get rid of it permanently, as permanently as permanent gets, and just keep it moving with my life. I got other things to do. Yeah, I go to Laser Way. They're cool, they're real professional. I don't know the name of the laser that they use. A lot of people ask me, what's the specific laser? I, girl, I don't know, I don't work there, I do YouTube. I have no complaints about laser at all. Get with the winning team and just do it. If you're thinking about doing it, just do it. Be careful though. I know a lot of people have said they've tried like Groupon versions. Be careful, and this is probably an unpopular opinion, do I wanna say this? Yeah, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Don't kill me, y'all. But I feel like if it comes down to like, you have to juggle rent money or like being buying laser, it's not worth it. Don't cheat these processes. Don't black market these things because I promise you it's not worth it. Save up the money and go to a place that has amazing reviews or try to go to a place that someone refers you to because it's really scary the way that people will try to take advantage of young, assuming customers just like all of you who are trying to buy into trends or buy into what influencers are doing and they take advantage of that and just please, you guys, be really careful. Message the people that they post on their Instagram pages and ask, hey, is this a real legitimate review? Were you happy with your service there? Because laser is not nothing to play with. And I've definitely heard of people going places and ending up with tire tracks on their bodies because they didn't do their research on the places that they went to. But laser way is amazing. Can't say enough amazing things about them. Day three of our maintenance day is my nails. I'm going to get my toenails <laughs> done, my corns filed down. <laughs> Real quick though, I just wanna explain why I have a true love-hate relationship with the nail salon. Okay, so I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I know that most things that like legally nail salons are supposed to do, I know they don't do them. And as you guys know, I usually wear press on nails for my hands because it's just quicker. I can do them whenever I want, when I want. I don't have to worry about booking an appointment. I don't have to worry about somebody being free. I don't have to worry about finding someone who's talented enough or good enough. Like I can just do my nails when I feel like it. Unfortunately, the same energy cannot be said for my feet. Now I do know that they have press on toenails, but I'm not there yet, okay? So unfortunately, I still have to get my nails done at a salon for my feet, my pedicure. About 
every two weeks, sometimes once a month, depending on how good the nail tech is, you know, cause I be, I be letting them grow all the way out, honey. Like I try to go to the nail salon as little as possible. So today's that day, I'm gonna go get my feet done. I spent a cute little coin at the nail salon, definitely probably more expensive than what most of you guys pay for. And that's because one, I live in LA and getting beauty services in LA typically costs a little bit more. The cost of living here is a little bit more expensive. So that's what's to be expected. But also I, something that most people find really funny and weird. I don't know why people, I mean, it is kind of weird. It is kind of weird. But I usually get acrylics on all my toenails. So that racks up the cost significantly higher and the reason why I get acrylics on all of my toenails not just on my big toe is because they last longer so it is more of a convenience thing I like the way that they look it adds strength to my nails it's not as like harsh on the toenails the same way it is on the hands it doesn't have the same effect well I'm gonna go and get that done today and I'll probably pick out something that matches the nails on my finger I'm kind of like I'm so boring when it comes to my toes I either get pure white I get pink or I get some type of nude pinky nude or peach nude very basic all the action is right here this is where the action this is where the money it really is let's go looking at my gucci is about that time as you can see i only got one toenail <laughs> on each foot and yeah, them corners do need to be addressed i really don't like going to the nail salon like if i see them drop a buffer i'll just leave no i won't leave that's dramatic i'll tell them to replace it I think i'm gonna start bringing my own tools to the nail salon because you can just never be too sure the one thing i do appreciate at this place that i go to in particular is they're very fast so i'm literally in and out in like 45 minutes which is like unheard of from any other salon i've ever been to and they do use buckets to soak your feet but it's like lined in a plastic bag you do know that they're changing the bag out every time you have to soak your feet it's not like in a like the massage chairs you know with a little spa I don't know what the hell you use to clean that or not clean that. I don't trust that. But this place does definitely seem like it's a little bit more up to standard in a way. Gonna bring a little snack for the road. Last one. <laughs> when I come to the salon, I like to bring a big bag with like snacks, headphones, water. Hi, yes, just gel hmm. and acrylic on all my toes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this color. It kinda matches my nails, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with hers. Okay, so toes looking right. I mean, you pretty much can't, it doesn't even look like I have on nail polish. I went with a really, 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 really natural nude. Like almost, like what do they call this again? I forget what they call this, but it's like literally like the color of your nail bed. I almost went with a color that matched my nails, but I haven't really done this kind of nude in a while. So I was re-inspired, re-judged. Let's talk. So today, reaffirmed the reason why I don't like going to the nail salon. The lady was using like drill bits that were used that I know were used. I had to change, I had to ask her to change a nail file. I had to ask her to change the buffer. Like I'm just not like, I understand people are just trying to do their job. And to be honest, when you're just trying to get people in and out, most people don't notice. Maybe most people don't care. And if they don't care, that's okay. It's not like it's the end of the world. It really is a first world problem. But I do feel like if I'm paying for service, it should be clean. And there's a standard and a regulation that should be enforced for reasons. So I don't think I'm gonna be going to nail salons in general anymore. Um, even the so-called cleanest ones that I've gone to have been like not I just pick up on little things like you just shouldn't be reusing tools that I know you've used on other people on me I appreciate the fact that the water is clean and that they give me like a clean bowl and they do try whenever they use like powder acrylic for example like they'll put it in a different jar they don't double dip it in there but there was just like other things where they would like double dip when they would sanitize the brushes and it's like how are you you, I, I just, I just, I can't get past it. So I posted something on my Insta stories, basically saying that from now on, what I'm gonna do to make me feel comfortable because it's my shmoney and like I should be spending shmoney the way that I see fit. I'm just gonna buy my own tools and or hire someone that can just come to me and that way I know for a fact they're using everything new and that they're using stuff that they haven't used on other people because I just mentally can't do it anymore. I cannot do it anymore. It's disgusting. I've managed to live my life without getting infections and without getting cuts or without getting, you know, anything from a nail salon but what if there's just that all it takes is that one time i'm more of a preventative person so like i just don't even 
want to bother anymore. That's the decision that I made today, but I was generally really happy with the service. The lady was really nice. I did ask her to change the tools. She was super nice about it. She made no issues. Yeah, it's unfortunate because I really like this place, but I can't with like the, I just can't, I can't do it. I'm glad I don't look like a raptor anymore and my toes look somewhat decently presentable. So that pretty much covers everything I've done throughout the week to maintain the beaut. It's definitely not all of the things that I do. I know that this is gonna sound so first world, but sometimes doing these things are very tiring. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> Synonyms, I get to antsy. Okay, man, I can't sit still that long. So I like to break some of my services up so that they're not literally done all at the same time. I wanna do this video again, but the next video that I wanna talk about, I hope you guys are ready. You're probably not ready. I actually wanna talk a little bit more about injectables, some of the injectables I have done. I think next time I am due for another round of injectables. I'll take you guys with me and we'll talk about that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you enjoyed this hybrid of like filming in my regular studio versus like a vlog. Let me know what you think. Let's be real, you gonna watch it any damn way. Let me know if you have any questions on anything we covered in today's video. I really hope I thoroughly covered everything and I hope that this isn't the kind of video where people get in the comments and fight over something I said because I didn't explain it properly or they're taking something out of context. I just think that you guys see me in 4K so I gotta give you 4K energy and that means regular facials okay sweetie perfect skin perfect hair like everything gotta be on point because if I see what y'all do to people who aren't perfect on YouTube okay I know that no one's perfect but even the people who are I see what y'all do to them too thank you guys so much for watching today's video and hanging out with me today but if you really want to be a real one you need to watch another video like I mean I don't see why not it's already here you ain't got nothing else to do so press the next button just press right here I'm waiting.